Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Showtime Nazar here back with another video. Uh, thank y'all to everybody that liked, subscribed, and shared to my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, go ahead and check that out. Get them views up there. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. Hit that bell icon so that you can stay up to date on everything that I got going on and everything that I'm bringing to y'all. And you know, y'all can show y'all thoughts and opinions. Go ahead and type in them little comments down there. Let me know what y'all think. All right, today's video, I just want to talk about how difficult it is to please black people last week presidential candidate joe biden selected senator harris as his running mate in this year's upcoming presidential election a lot of black people are disappointed because of kamala harris's background as a prosecutor and how many black people that she's put in jail i'm not saying that you guys don't have a valid point because i can understand a lot of y'all being disappointed in the fact that this woman has put a lot of black men in jail however she was doing her job and it's kind of contradicting to be like Put criminals in jail but don't put the black ones in jail or don't do your job but do your job so i can understand where you guys are coming from and i'm not saying you guys don't have a valid point i just feel like she did her job to the best of her abilities and i don't think she's proud of putting black men in jail uh but i also think again she was she was in a tough position i'm not speaking for her i just i'm just assuming that i don't think nobody wants to put their own people in prison also i feel like a lot of you guys are not giving this woman a chance. Um, Y'all going off her past and not going off of what she's trying to do for black people. And I feel like this was a win for both black people and women. She's representing two demographics here. And I feel like in this upcoming presidential election, we need that. A lot of y'all are saying uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris ain't the answer. But a lot of y'all are saying Trump ain't the answer either. I'm not telling nobody who to vote for, but I also think, what do you suggest we do, black people? And the reason I say it's, it's hard to please black people because we don't know what we want, right? One minute we're satisfied, next minute we're not satisfied. One minute we won't change, next minute we don't want change. And I feel like as black people, we haven't collectively figured out what best works for us and what is going to help best move us forward as a community. We're facing another catch-22, right? So you got Joe Biden and Trump, and it's not real different from Hillary Clinton and Trump in the last election. Joe Biden is not the best candidate that we could have selected for the Democratic Party. However, I feel like he is better than what we got in the White House already. And I feel like Kamala Harris being his running mate is just going to help moving the country forward. Now, a lot of y'all just complaining, give us an alternative. Y'all like Kamala Harris not the answer. Okay, so what's next? How do we as black people progress? Y'all keep, I keep seeing this meme of like Obama in the White House, uh, Joe Biden in the White House, Trump in the White House. The hood is still fucked up. Y'all not wrong, but what are y'all doing to change it? Y'all just complaining. Black people, we need to come together and change something instead of just complaining about shit. What is the next move for us? When Jay-Z went to the NFL and decided to partner with the NFL, a lot of y'all was like, that's a terrible move. And, you know, he's against cap. Okay, so what should he have done? What is the next move? A lot of y'all just want to be satisfied with being angry. Being angry is good, but put some action behind that anger. We ain't put no action behind nothing. We just want everything to stay the same. A lot of us won't change. And I think in order for us to have change, we got to get people in these offices and in these seats to where they can affect change. Now is the time for us to put people in these seats to say, hey, you know, Let's do this because I'm pretty sure that a lot of black people are going to um, accept this going forward. So, you know, we need to put some people like us, some people that are understanding in these positions of power so that things can change. And I'm just hoping that Kamala Harris is, is the change that we need. I know she's not the president, but I feel like Joe Biden made a good choice. And I'm hoping that moving forward, man, we can just come together as a people and demand the things that we want. But let's move on from that, right? I seen a video of cat williams um he was like standing on the stage he was like talking and being like very political since i'm talking about politics i guess that's a good segue but i seen cat williams video and i just want to say when it come to cat williams man i'm kind of i'm kind of iffy about this guy right? given all his past right i'm not saying that what he said wasn't valid or i'm not saying that what he said wasn't uh, a good thing for him to say and it shows a lot of maturity in cat williams I just hope that this Cat Williams is here to stay, not the guy that we seen fighting eighth graders. Because a lot of things that Cat Williams was saying in his stand up was back in the day, they resonate today. And the Cat Williams that I saw on that stage that was talking, that's the Cat Williams that I like. The one that's fighting the eighth graders and the one that was hating on Tiffany Haddish, 
that I don't know what that was and I couldn't stand him for a minute. So I'm hoping that this person is here to stay and I hope he doesn't have a Kanye moment where he's uh backtracking and back doing just off the wall bullshit. So uh I just wanna say that on that. Last thing I wanna get into real quick is uh Travis Scott and uh Sahai the Prince. Alright, so here's my thing when it comes to rappers writing other rappers lyrics. Singers do it all day and we crown them like great musicians, great artists all the time, right? Great songwriters. Don't give a fuck about who writes what when it comes to rap. When the rapper is not a lyricist, Travis Scott is not the, I'm a huge Travis Scott fan. His lyrics are not something that wow me. It's his artistry. It's his whole like video making idea, his art, his artwork on his albums, his concepts for his songs. To me, being a rapper or being a musician is more than just the lyrics. It's a whole package deal. So for me, a lot of y'all make lyrics so important, but it's not a problem to have help. When rappers say, or when people say they had help writing these songs, that don't mean they wrote the whole thing. Sometimes it do, but for the most part, it's two minds coming together, making a masterpiece, right? So if producers help write or make them produce a beat, we don't complain about it. Why is it that when rappers help write a song that it's a problem? Don't understand it, man. It doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, when you go to a restaurant, if it's four chefs cooking your food, do you care that it was four chefs cooking your food or do you care about that motherfucking chicken that they bringing out to that table? I don't care who back there cooking that bitch. Bring it to me done and bring it to me right. So that's the same thing I want with my music. If you gonna bring it to me, bring it to me right. Don't just write it. I think that only applies to guys who say that they're lyricists. At the end of the day, if you claim to be a lyricist, you have to write majority of it. And that's not saying they can't have writers. I think that you have to write majority of what you're saying if you claim to be a lyricist. A lot of these guys are just rappers, and I don't think it applies to them. All right, man, I thank y'all for tuning in today. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if y'all like this video. And until next time, I might hear y'all. Peace.